Hi, this is Jason with Yaldell Scientific, and today we're showcasing our school lunch POS for Microsoft Excel. From the main menu, you have various touchscreen icons through which you can perform all the activity of the POS. From the student menu, you can see a listing of all available students. In this example, we will now create a new student profile. We enter the student's data. All information is automatically saved to the backend Excel database. The pay type can either be standard, reduced, or free. This is if your school offers a standard, reduced, or free lunch program. Each student can also be assigned a spending account. You can assign an existing spending account for the student or create a new spending account. In this example, we're creating a new spending account. The spending account name is automatically assigned and we can add some money to the student's spending account. We assign the grade or class of the student, the teacher, and then save. At any given time, you can edit a student's profile by simply selecting the student and clicking Edit Profile. You can also add money to a student's spending account this way. Locking a sale is incredibly easy. Simply click on New Sale, select the class or grade, and you'll see a listing of available students. Select the student for which you want to process a sale, and you'll see that student's information along with their existing spending account balance. Select an item that you want to add to the sale, and that information is automatically tallied. In this example, our total is $4.60, and we can apply that to existing spending account. If we check the student's profile information, we can now see that their spending account has been updated. They now have $10.40 remaining. At any moment, you can also view a instant history of all sales right from the main menu. You can also view various reports and metrics in one button click. All transactional information is automatically saved to the back end, so there's always quick reports when you need them. We can see in this example that there are three students that share the same spending account, account 1234. These three students are linked and could be related or siblings. If we process a sale for one of these students that share that account 1234, that spending account will automatically be updated for all three students. In this example, we'll process a sale that's more than the spending account to apply a negative balance to the spending account. When we go back into the student profiles, we can now see that all three students have a negative balance on their shared spending account.
we can now run a quick report for any student that has a negative balance and instantly we'll get information on the primary student affiliated with spending account 1234 on information to replenish the spending account. If we create a new sale now and pay cash, we will automatically replenish the spending account because any change given is given back in the form of a credit to the spending account. In this example, there will be $17.15 applied back to the spending account. And we can see that it was updated for all three students that share spending account 1234.